It's dry and dusty, but absolutely vital. An engineering operation to build a strong perimeter fence and security sangars, observation towers, at Musakala. The engineers and army teams come from a Gurkha field squadron, normally based in southern England. It's a big job, and most of the materials have been acquired locally. It's a fine example of the ongoing commitment by coalition forces to the long-term security of Afghanistan. This is a, a huge engineering task in a very short space of time. But if the British mentors, along with the Afghan army, are able to influence this whole Musakala region, which is very important to us, we need a firm base in which to work out of. And so the engineers are absolutely essential in giving us that, that protective area for us to have that secure area to work out of and, uh, and influence this wider area, which uh, has been sort of a whole focus of our operations in the last two weeks. The Gurkhas are working as hard as possible to complete the job in the shortest of time. In northern Afghanistan, there still remains the very real threat of mortar and rocket fire. Hopefully this compound will be home to Afghanistan army and police forces. I don't think the, the British mentors will actually leave their, their Afghan counterparts. We're very much embedded with them, although in small numbers. There will only be about 36 or 40 um, British mentors with an, an Afghan battalion. Uh, so we will remain as long as the Afghans stay here and as long as the Afghans want us to stay here. There is an aspiration to hand over to the, to the Afghan National Police, but the ANA, the Afghan National Army, will remain here and the British mentors will stay with them as long as we're required. Meanwhile, the building work continues. 9,000 cubic meters of aggregate, miles of barbed wire, some 5,000 sandbags. This is a real example of what they describe as building for the future.